चलो एनी अदर क्वेश्चन स्टिल नाउ लेट मी चेक वाट इज द स्टेटस ऑफ दिस हाँ यस ओके सो नाउ जनरली यू विल गेट दिस काइंड ऑफ इश्यूज गाइस ओके सो नाउ व्हाट इट इज सेइंग ओके द फीचर यू आर ट्राइंग टू यूज वाइल वाइल रिमूविंग द पैचिंग आई एम गेटिंग वन इश्यू वाइल रिमूविंग द पैचिंग आई एम गेटिंग वन इश्यू सी हि सर्वर इज ऑल्सो स्टॉप्ड वाइल रिमूविंग द पैचिंग ऑल्सो सर्वर विल बी रिबूटेड मल्टीपल टाइम्स सो वाइल रिमूविंग द पैचिंग आई कैन सी वन इश्यू वॉट इज दट इश्यू what is that issue it is saying one of the file is missing sql server 2022 database engine services okay so in insert the sql server data it is saying the feature you are trying to use is on a cd rom or other removable disk that is not available see it is trying to remove one file that file is not available guys so what is that file if you click browse then you can see that file name and all you can see here what is that file name engine core inst engine this file sql engine core inst which is the file guys dot msa file so this file is not there otherwise i would remove this file to remove this file i don't find this file so let me know the location of this file so then once i found that file i am going to remove this file i'll continue to remove the patching See here, it was in the middle of the patching, guys. It was in the middle of the patching, okay. But while removing the patching, it has to remove one of the file. So this is called missing MSI files error. Missing MSI files error. Generally, how to find missing MSI files error? I'll show you in the organization. If you are patching SQL servers, you will get missing MSI files error. So what will be the error, guys? I'll show you here, okay. So generally. Let me go to Google and SQL Server missing MSA MSP files. Just type like this: SQL Server missing M. Can anyone tell me in what scenarios will get missing MSA MSP files errors? What scenarios? Can anyone tell me in what scenarios will get these errors? Sorry, sorry, I cannot hear you. You are while installing. Ah, very good. While removing the patches. Very good. Very good. Next, next. So, in what scenarios the summary dot txt file will be generated? While uninstall the SQL. Hmm. Updating. Hmm. While installing SQL Server, while uninstalling SQL Server, while installing the patch, while removing the patch, while upgrading the SQL Server, in all these scenarios, summary dot txt file will be generated, right? so in all these scenarios msi and msp files errors also will be generated there is a chance that there is a chance during installation of sql server during uninstallation of sql server during patching the sql server during removing the sql server patching during upgradation of sql server in these scenarios also there is a chance that you will get a missing msi and msp files error the error will be like this The cached MSI file C Windows installer four three one three fcf dot msi is missing. The original file is this one SQL underscore rs dot msi, and it was installed for product SQL Server two thousand eight r two sp one. So like this, you can see the error description means it is going to tell you which file is missing and how we are going to replace that file with which file you are going to replace. See the original file name is this one. SQL underscore rs dot msi. This is the original file name. This file is missing. You can replace this file by just replacing the original file. Where you will get this original file? In the SQL Server software, you will get the original file. You got the point, guys? In the SQL Server software, so you can get the original files and all. So copy the files. If any files are missing, you have to copy the missing files, guys. That's how generally we'll fix the missing MSI and MSP files issue. Recently, Microsoft introduced one tool called Missing MSI and MSP tool, guys. Okay, what is the tool? Missing MSI. You have to explain the same in the interview, guys. They will ask you, have you ever faced issues while patching the SQL Server? Yes. We use it to get missing MSI and MSP files issue. Have you fixed it? Microsoft introduced one tool called Missing MSI and MSP tool. You have to download that tool from the Google. Once you download, you have to copy that file to the server. In which server we are getting missing MSI MSP files? Open that file, scan it like antivirus. 
it will scan it will show you how many files are missing like this and you have an option called fix button is there right click on fix and there is an option called fix all automatically it is going to fix the missing msc msc files guys this is how we have to troubleshoot missing msc msc files in this scenario what i am going to do it is saying sql engine core inst uh, it is waiting for this file will go to the sql server setup file in sql server 2022 this is sql server 2022 setup file right let's go to this we'll try to find this file guys control c just go to the sql server setup file 2022 setup file rtm setup file just paste it here check whether we can find that file or not we can find it right sql engine core inst.msc.msi double click on this file okay then the core engine is not a valid installation package of the product sql server engine they try to find installation package sql core installation in here called which you can install sql database engine services sir Okay, let me check whether first I'm able to access this D drive or not. I'm able to access right. Then why it is still showing? Maybe we need to search C drive also. No, 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 not C drive. The files will be there in the SQL Server software only. Okay, in the RTM copy only files will be there. So you have to search in that only. This is a 2022, right? So it might create some issue. Generally, for 2019, 2017, if you identify that file and if you drag it, or else if you select that file, automatically it will proceed to remove the files, guys. So it is saying not a valid installation package for the product SQL Server 2022 database engine service. Now, uh, this is 2022 only, right? SQL Server 2022 database engine services. Okay. Now, uh, SQL Server try to find installation package SQL Core Install MSI in a folder from which you can install SQL Server 2022 database engine services. Okay. One minute. Huh? Let me check. Let me do. Sir, in the yes. path. Yes. Tell me. I mean, we can go directly, not by just clicking. Just we can go underneath it by manually. I mean that folder x64 then there will be a folder then to avoid this confusion i mean let me try that also so sometimes what we will do you know we are going to one minute why i am unable to get this meeting control so one minute. right okay Sometimes we'll copy the same missing file from the other server also guys. This is also on troubleshooting. Whatever file is missing, this file will copy from other server and will replace it guys. Okay. So let's go to this one. And first what I'm going to do, you know, I'm going to attach SQL 2019 instead of 2022. We'll see whether it is going to work or not. Okay. Settings, storage, SQL 2019 is there. Huh? Uh, now I got it. We have to change this to SQL 2022. Okay. Right. Now let me go and check the files that are there in the D drive. That means we are in that we have 2019. That is the issue, sir. Yes, yes, yes. This PC and try refreshing this. right now what you can do browse okay equals 2022 control v done okay just proceeded guys Okay, so as I'm using SQL Server 2019, it is taking 2019 MSI file. I replace it 2019 to 2022. So it just proceeded with the latest file and now it just continued and it is going to remove all the files. In this way, we have to fix MSI MSV files. If it is one and two, you can fix like this. Generally, in our organization, if any MSI file is missing, what we will do, you know, we'll copy that missing file from other server so that it is going to fix the issue but they will expect okay as a professional they will expect whether you know this missing msa msp tool or not so based on that you have to fix that issue guys okay so let it be once this is completed 
uh, we'll stop the recording and again we'll we'll initiate a new recording guys once this uh, is completed Shandu, i'll show you yes yes show please. that uh, can you show that uh, searching uh, that software how to use that software missing uh, msi I'll, I'll 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 show you it's very simple self explained software that is like antivirus but i'll show you if we have some time okay okay yeah we'll discuss that one don't worry okay yeah. right it's almost done guys uh, just a minute so copying that missing files from other vm is like uh, the same common version shape. same version it same is? version yes yes same version okay. if i have another 2022 file another 2022 server i can copy another 22 2022 uh, missing file from that server to this server from shared location or this is a small file not even 1 mb also it's in kb so only so right click so copy right click not location. in a common shared uh, location uh, hmm. do we have any other options to no, no, share no. the See, file you should have common shared location there is no other option if there is no other if there is an option means that your network team has to enable that one we are not responsible generally will use common shared location it's a safe the safe location guys it's a safe generally so instead of generally we have another option also directly servers can talk each other i'll show you in the hadr concepts okay but if the server is primary and secondary if you enable the uh, communication between the servers servers can directly communicate with each other so you can right click copy from one server and you can right click paste in another server but if there is no communication between the servers the only way is shared location okay yeah okay sir yeah. is still taking to update once this is updated i'll show you this one okay the bill number and all then we'll we'll jump to the next session guys done now you can see right all the components are successfully it just removed um, patching from all the components so even for removing also it will generate a set of file why because while removing you might encountered missing ms msp files errors or some other errors right so for that purpose for that also anything any activity you are doing it is going to create a log guys that is called your summary.txt file okay close it now how to verify whether it is removed successfully or not whether the patch removed successfully or not how to verify you can see 4003 right refresh it it will go back to its previous state 1000 if you can see 4003 and you can see rtm cu1 right just refresh it you can see 1000 and just rtm you can see okay like this you have to verify whether the patch is successfully removed or not clear guys any questions any doubts any questions please चलो आई एम गोइंग टू स्टॉप रिकॉर्डिंग फॉर दिस टॉपिक 